You might be thinking, wait, what? How do you have a monetized channel if it's below 1000 subscribers? Well, I will tell you in this video. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Laura and I'm a finance coach and entrepreneur based in Bali. And on this channel, we explore the tools and strategies that help us level up to live happier and richer lives. Today, I will tell you what YouTube paid me in the first month of being monetized. And you might be thinking, wait, Laura, how are you even monetized? You don't meet the requirements. You don't have 1000 subscribers. Well, yeah, not on this channel, but I do on my German YouTube channel and I want to share with you how much YouTube paid me on the first month. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any video anymore because I have tons of amazing content planned for you. So what even inspired me to start two YouTube channels? Apparently I have no life because having a YouTube channel is a lot of work and having two YouTube channels is even more work. Luckily, I have a great team that supports me that I want to give a little shout out here because they are just amazing and they help me a lot to make this all possible. I started my German YouTube channel 11 months ago and I just wanted to have a platform to share all the knowledge about building your own business and I wanted to empower other women to do the same. I did this already through my finance coaching program but I wanted to have a bigger platform and I wanted to reach as many women as possible. And I choose YouTube instead of Instagram as that platform first because I knew at some point point if I just keep up the work I will be able to monetize this work and have kind of a source of passive income from that. The funny story is that I actually had a YouTube channel five years ago about fitness and nutrition and I was really passionate about that topic I still am but after three months I was like this is like way too much work and it's not even paying off like these few views that I'm getting. It's not worth all the hassle and all the work I'm actually putting into that. And that is the thing with YouTube. In the beginning, you cannot give any fucks about how many views you will get because it will take time to grow. It was the same with this channel. I actually almost forgot with my YouTube channel in Germany, it was going really well. And I was like, yeah, let's do another one. I want to do an English one. I want to put my message out there in English. And I, yeah, I really forgot how depressing it can be in the beginning, but you, you just cannot give any fucks. It's just, it's just what it is. And it will take some time for YouTube to pick up, for YouTube to know what kind of content you put out, what kind of people resonate with that content. And also you have to prove yourself a little bit to YouTube that the content you're putting out is actually worth being recommended. So I really learned a lot about perseverance and discipline with these two YouTube channels. But I got a little bit far out here. Let's get back to the actual topic, to the amount of money that YouTube paid me in my first month being monetized. So the first video I published was on April 1st, 2021. I actually didn't just upload one video. I started with three videos because I figured well, if I start a new channel and people will watch one video, it would be nice for them to have several videos to watch. Obviously, I shared it to my whole network and the first videos got quite a bit of views. I was like, okay, that's manageable. We can do this. Then after this, at some point, the network is like getting super annoyed with you, sending them all your videos and the clicks will get less and less and less until they grow again. But let me say you this stretch of not getting that many clicks and views. Yeah, it's challenging, but we can move through this and we did. So before starting YouTube, I had two sources of income. I'm a finance coach. I have coaching clients for one-on-one -on -one coaching. And this was my income stream number one. And the second income stream were my Etsy print on demand stores, which I also have a video about in case you're curious how that works. Now I have three more income streams. I do have YouTube monetization now as an income stream. I do have affiliate marketing on affiliate links as an income stream. 
And I also started an e-commerce business with my partner last year. In order to be able to monetize YouTube videos, you have to meet specific requirements. These requirements are 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours. When you start a YouTube channel and you look at the stats of your first month, this actually seems very far away. But usually after the first few months, your numbers will increase exponentially. So it can be actually achieved faster than you think. For me, it took exactly eight months to get monetized. It was really interesting that the number of subscribers and also the watch hours came almost at the same time. I reached the 1000 subscribers first and three days after I also reached the 4000 watch hours. Then I got a message from YouTube telling me that I am now able to monetize. I had to set up my account in AdSense. I had to apply for the monetization. A few days after I got a message back from YouTube that they accepted me. And then I was able to actually turn on monetization, which was such a big milestone. And I was really, really happy about this because I've been working so hard to get monetized. It meant actually a lot to me. So this milestone is achieved and now we can work on the play button. So once I was able to monetize, I had to turn on monetization for all the videos that were already uploaded at that point, which I did. And I had around 55 videos already in my YouTube. So they would be able to start working for me right away. With the ads, you can choose which ads should be used for your videos. You can turn them on or off, but you cannot choose what kind of ads are actually gonna be played by the advertisers. Usually I get the most revenue from skippable ads, so you should probably not turn off these. And then you could also choose if you wanna do bumper ads, those are the ads that I in between your video. And if you do so, you can also choose at which point of time that will be displayed, but you could also let that do YouTube automatically. So let's see what I made in the first day of monetization. Well, let me put it this way. The first way was not really exciting. The first day I made one euro and 46. But the good news is after the first day, the revenue per day just grew bigger and bigger. When it comes to the revenue and the monetization, there are three important numbers to look at. So the first number is the playback based CPM. So the CPM is how much company pay per thousand views. And this is not the amount of money that you get. This is the amount of money that companies pay YouTube. So in the first four weeks, my CPM was 16 euro 66. This is a quite high number usually. The CPM CPM highly depends on what kind of niche you're in, what kind of brand you're in, and is individual for each content creator. I have a relatively high CPM because I positioned myself in the finance niche, but for example, lifestyle YouTubers or beauty or travel YouTubers, they might have a very much lower CPM. So in order to get the same amount of money, they would need to have a lot more clicks. The second important number we will look at now is RPM. RPM is what YouTube actually pays me because YouTube offers the platform and everything. They obviously take a cut for themselves and the RPM is what I get. So in the first month, my RPM was at 10 euro 17 cents. Well, and the third important number is the estimated revenue. So in the first month of being monetized, YouTube paid me 139 euro and 22 cents. This is actually not huge, but I was still very excited because I worked so hard. And finally, I also see some money coming in from YouTube. Does it equate to the hard work I've put in? Probably not. But the nice thing is about the revenue from YouTube once I have it now and I still put out videos consistently, it will just grow and grow and grow. But obviously YouTube 
is a lot of work and I've put in eight months of work that were not in any kind of way paid for. And every month is still a lot of work for me to put out videos consistently, to script them, to film them, to edit them, to upload them, to interact with my community, to answer comments. It's a lot of work, but it's work I really love doing and I'm very sure that this will pay off in the future if I stick with it long enough. And obviously YouTube is not my only source of income. My main source of income is the finance coaching and the one-on-one -on -one coaching I do. And I'm also building my online business. So YouTube for me is a nice side hustle to have and I'm really excited on where this journey will take me. If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel yourself, my one suggestion is you better get started now because it doesn't matter if you feel ready or not, you will never actually feel ready. And it's better to just start doing it because it takes a lot of time to grow on YouTube. And once you get started, you will have the pressure to actually also keep going. And if you keep going, at some point with the right strategy, you will be successful. And thinking about the future, I'm very excited to see where I will be two years from now and also where you will be two years from now if you start now. That's it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this content. Please leave a like if you did and also leave a comment in the section down below if you would love to see more of these kind of videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what? are you waiting for? I have tons of amazing content planned for you. And if you subscribe and press the bell, I will see you in the next video. Bye.